Memawache or Ojiko, which is uh, good morning in tree and ga respectively. Uh, today I'm gonna try out hand washing my clothes and uh, the things that are used purchased at the Medina market was this thing uh, and I was told they should have this and this by uh, Mavis, uh, my hostess, uh, who was so kind to guide me through the market. Uh, there are supposed to be some strict measures on that, but if I can eyeball it, I will. <clears throat> uh, so yeah, it's uh, not that much. I had too little water here. Um, I, th I thought it would be enough. The water I had in here was basically just a surplus from um, from uh, showers. Uh, so like I pushed a bucket under or whenever I'm not actually like fully under the shower or just holding my head under the shower but my my head over this one but under the shower just to kind of let it uh, fill in here um the primary reason i did that was uh <clears throat> in the event of a water shortage there would be a uh, i wouldn't have to have a full bucket here all the time i would just gradually get it full and when i there is a water shortage i can use this one to uh, flush the toilet um, rather than uh, having um, the water reserves from the poly tank being used. For that, I would like to have for showering and stuff like that. Um, so, uh, this is supposed to be soaking in 10-15 minutes, and that's pretty much why I'm stopping now, to uh, just film a little bit. And, um, uh, yeah, uh, this, there are probably going to be some spots on that jeans I'm going to struggle with. Um, and Mavis told me if uh, I needed any help uh, getting that cleaned, uh, she would, uh, it would help me and she probably, I guess, also show me how to get it done for this is pro pretty much the first. I've only taken like single garments or something like that, uh, but I've not usually done my laundry in its entirety. Um, yeah, I guess there's not that much more to say. It's just laundry, but it's a hand washed laundry. And uh, also when I'm done, I'll bring it back into the bathroom over there. I'll shower these things over the buckets and then hang them up on the on the towel hanger. And then um, as uh, this bucket gets full, I will go outside and I will pour it uh, in a, a, a patch right behind the house here. So uh, I've been uh, taking the wa collecting the water from the air conditioner to water the plants and I see that they're growing. So um, I'm going to test out a, a, a spot with the uh, with this uh, laundry detergent and see what will be the result of that. Um, because I'm, that's just how I do things, so I'm curious. I like to see how my my very existence, my just my presence um, having, uh, you know, what happens in the surroundings just by me being here. And this is just me being here, right? It's just laundry. Um, I'm not going to go outside and take a piss just to really prove my point, but because uh, that would be a little bit inappropriate here. But um, uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, there we go. Oh, I also bought a bunch of uh, take repellent and shampoo. I will say yesterday, I believe, and a brush and so forth. Uh, it's been a little bit easier to get all those uh, nasty little spiky plant things that get stuck on her. And uh, should she. Um, I won't actually need to wash her that often, she cleans herself, but in the case of ticks and switch, she's also quite capable of taking away, but uh, there might be other bugs, and fleas in particular, that will be more difficult for her. So uh, the tick, and it's a tick and flea repellent that I bought. Um, and uh, the rest is basically for the neighbor's dogs, the, the ones uh, she hates, <laughs> I keep uh, chasing her all the time. Um, and for they are a little bit <clears throat> more bothered and <clears throat> dogs are um, they're like men they're not very good at taking care of themselves <laughs> uh, <clears throat> my friends I wish you a continued pleasant morning